At the office in Barcelona this morning, it's time for the second radio broadcast of the Amoca Ocean Masters New York to Barcelona race. The team is ready, and the questions too. Let's just make a last check on the boat's positions. You'll see in a minute that when the boats are doing 20 knots, it doesn't help the communications. Hello, hello. Hello, Gerard. Hello. Hello. Hola, Gerard. Hello, hello. Hola, qué tal, buen día. So we said um, we blew out and seemingly might have been the uh, water ballast tank cover all the way out the transom. Uh, it blew out last night, so. After the last 36 hours of complicated tactical racing, the Lee Trio has reached the northwest border of the depression. The wind has increased and become more stable in direction. Gais, the Spanish boat, was leading the fleet at noon, closest to the finish on the shortest theoretical route. But Mark Guillermo and Morgan Le Gravier on board Safran are entering the middle of the depression and are the true leaders of the race from a tactical perspective. They dive further south than the others and found a stiffer breeze earlier. They're sailing in 28 knots of wind and making 22 knots of boat speed. To their north, Hugo Boss and Gais are only just getting into the same weather conditions. Behind them, Neutrogena has lost some distance overnight and is now 75 miles behind. Compared to the other boats, it will take them more time to get to the favorable winds. These images sent from on board show the conditions well. Esperando el roller nomás, la única que los pueda ayudar. Estamos esperando un movimiento de unos 20 graditos de viento para poder tranchar. Una vez meternos un poquito más en la, en la flota. Pero bien, bien, por lo menos ahora hay un poquito más de presión. Tenemos que poner un par de minutos más y poder meternos de nuevo en competencia. This afternoon or tonight, the leaders will tack to exit the depression in a northeast direction. It's still an open game. This manoeuvre could change everything. <laughs> 